Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I am an old guy gaming and it is June the 3rd and we have our trailer already loaded up with our monthly haul of lettuce. There's a couple things uh, that I want to also show you. Well, okay, first of all, let's take a look at the prices and see who's selling what for how much and all that good stuff. Uh, so if we go to eggs, um, it looks like the bakery once again has the best price there and lettuce let's look at lettuce uh, which is down this way 959 looks like mama joe's got the best price on lettuce and actually yeah no that's it <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about honey too uh, but we're not going to sell the honey for now so we can go ahead and load up the eggs because Mama Joe doesn't, uh, well, I don't think Mama Joe buys eggs, does she? Let, let me double check. I don't want to sell them at Mama Joe's because we want to make sure those go to the bay. Oh, she does. Okay. So we can't load up the eggs with the lettuce <clears throat> at the same time. So let's take the lettuce over to Mama Joe's first. Get that taken care of. And then we'll come back, get the eggs, and take that to the bakery. So um, I've got two full pallets of honey. And I have now found a use for the cellar underneath our barn, and that is going to be to store our honey. The reason we're going to store it is because, A, honey is not going to spoil um, like produce will. Uh, so, you know, it has a shelf life. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to store it in the cellar of our barn, and it should be relatively cool down there, and then wait until the best month to sell it uh, and that month is to do let's see go here honey where's honey or no sorry honey is down here in February yeah so we're gonna just store it in our barn cellar until February and then we'll sell it at that point in time and make a nice little tidy profit off of it uh, so yeah that's the plan for the honey okay let's get all this lettuce sold to mama Joe trailer is drifting once again I just finished watching um, some videos on um, the platinum edition of farming simulator which was supposed to come out in November uh, with the new logging map and stuff oh boy that looks good um, I definitely plan on getting that um, you know when the when it comes out in November so Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Okay, let's take a look. I wasn't paying attention to uh, the first sale. So let's see. We're in June, and we made... Okay, so we made $9,500 off, of off of our lettuce. Actually, that's pretty good. Okay, any, anytime we hit over $9,000, uh, we are doing pretty good on the produce. So let's go back now and grab our eggs, and we'll take those down to the bakery. And I believe, like we talked about in the last episode, the um, uh, when we hit July, that second batch of chickens should be mature and start producing eggs for us. Um, so our egg production is going to double, and then a few months after that, the third batch of chickens will mature, and then it'll, our egg production will triple. So that is good stuff. Oh, our, our bales are ready to throw into the silage storage, too. I've been thinking about that whole deal. I wonder if it was even worth it for us to get the silage storage, because we can, you know, we can always just drop the bales off and leave them as they are. It's just that in about the same amount of space, we can store about twice as much. So I guess, yeah, I guess it was still probably worth it. We'll see. As our farm expands and I plant more hay fields, though, we're going to need even more room, so we might have to come up with an even better solution uh, when the time comes. Uh, but as you can see, we have a full pallet of eggs and then um, another partial pallet. So we might as well grab all of these. And with those chickens maturing, this is even going to get better. OK. 
Okay. I'm wondering too if I can if I can put another pallet area down for the beehive because it only apparently can only hold one pallet and as soon as I pick picked up the full pallet then another one spawned in uh, I guess it doesn't really matter though we unless we were gonna leave it for a long time but you know I'm gonna I don't have to store it in the cellar of course but I'm gonna do it anyway just because it's realistic plus it gives me you know a something to use that cellar for a little too far there and eh, that's good okay let's get you strapped down and uh, we'll take we'll take the eggs over to the bakery and get those sold and then we'll come back and load that next pallet of honey down into our cellar there. I used the uh, admin magic on the paint on my truck again to get, get it all fixed back up. The kind of wear that that shows, I mean, you wouldn't see that kind of wear on a vehicle for until years go by, and that's even if you didn't do anything to take care of it. <laughs> so it's just kind of funny that it wears out that quick. All right, let's see how we do here. Bringing in that money. Oh, I was going to tell you something else. Here, let's see how much we make here first. Twenty-seven hundred and thirty bucks. All right, nice. I'm guessing, you know, once we're in full production on the eggs, we're probably going to make around six grand a month on the eggs. So, you know, we figured around nine grand on the produce on the average, and six grand on the eggs. So, you know, that's fifteen thousand dollars coming in every month. Uh, just on those two things and then you know later on we're gonna get cattle and with the cattle you know we'll, we'll have milk so yeah it's fun man I'm just so enjoying this game I, re I really am it is just fun. I wish I would have started playing this years ago man I was, I was telling one of you guys that on the comments you know better late than never though right um, but yeah it's just it's just an amazing game okay so let's uh, yeah let's park the pickup truck let's pull it in the driveway here Hop out. And we'll go grab this other pallet of honey. And put it in the cellar. And I'll kind of show you how we're storing that in there. After that, we're going to throw the bales in the bale storage. And get those taken care of. Okay, so when we pick this up, another pallet should spawn in its place. And that's why I was thinking we should um, maybe consider putting another pallet loading area down so we can... It sh yep, see it spits it out there. I don't know, though. I think well, it'll be fine the way it is now. As long as I periodically come out here and pick them up, I think we'll be okay. All right, let's go store this in our cellar. I may end up moving the bees after the canola is harvested too, because um, it's kind of in the way, you know, for for hay there. Okay, so let's open up this. And we can drive right on in here. Our little uh, antenna kind of scrapes the roof, but... And yeah, we're just going to store the honey here in the cellar until uh, February.
Okay, so can I raise that up and... Yeah, it looks like it, but we should... Our forks are sticking out too far, so let's... uh Do this. We, I'm sure we won't have enough honey to completely fill this place up by February, but we want to maximize our space too, so. Awesome. Okay. Fun, fun. Okay, next thing is to load our bales up. Yeah, so uh, you know they're really uh, they really have a big focus on logging in the upcoming uh, platinum expansion in November. The map is a logging map, uh, and they're bringing introducing new equipment uh, for logging, and it's just really cool looking. So I'm very much looking forward to to trying all that stuff out. I am doing some logging on the multiplayer server, but, um, you know, logging's, logging is, is fun. I, I enjoy it. It, it. It's really cool, but it's also a bit frustrating just because of the way the logs work and the physics and everything. Um, so it looks like the tools that they are introducing in the Platinum expansion is going to make that a little bit better, just make it a little easier to work with the logs and so forth. So that's going to be cool, man. All right, let's get these bales into storage. We are now up to uh, twenty-five thousand dollars too, which is good. We were we were <laughs> we were pretty low. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. Um, when I was looking in the, let that save. When I was looking in this menu, it was, it was saying that our Rosselmosh cultivator was really low and it was going to cost like $10,000 to repair it. And that's why I, what I didn't use it at first, but a little bit later on, on June 2nd, the three fields that we harvested came up for cultivating. And so I figured, all right, well, I'm going to pull my cultivator out and I put the toolbox on it and it actually only cost me like 1200 bucks to repair it. It wasn't like the $10,000 that it was saying. Uh, so I don't know what was up with that unless I misread it, but we repaired it and then we used our own cultivator uh, to knock out those three fields. So anyway, yeah, I'm, uh, unless I'm, like I said, unless I misread that, I'm not really sure why that was a thing, but it was. Okay, there we go. All of our current bales are in storage. And yeah, I, th I think it's probably worth having this because here again, we're, we're storing twice, well, maybe even more than twice. Yeah, definitely more than twice the amount of bales uh, on almost the same footprint. So it's good economy of space. Okay, I believe, ladies and gentlemen, we are done for June the 3rd. Uh, I don't remember if I checked the sales, so let's take a quick peek at those before we sleep. Uh, I guess I can go back a little bit further. That's good enough.
You know, I got to thinking too, as I was editing, was it the last video, or which, whichever one we did the barley harvest on, we, we got to get that, <clears throat> excuse me, we got to get that header trailer. That was so much screwing around <laughs> for me, trying to get around on those fields and going through the brush and the crossing cricks and stuff. And that, the header trailer is only five grand. But what I might do is I might hold off until, you know, see if it comes up on sale. Uh, and if it doesn't, by the time we need to transport it again, then we'll just buy the, you know, the trailer at that, that point in time. Okay, so let's take a look at the sales. What do we have here? We have, ooh, look at that thing, man. Uh, $66,000. It's got a it's a cultivator. It's got a 15.7 meter spread. What does ours have? A 12.2. Okay, so this one's a, about three and a half meters wider. If we sold this guy, you know what I'm not considering though? Horsepower. Uh, and I, I kind of made a little bit of a mistake with that other one, but you know, our new, our new Holland tractor can run the, the big one. Uh, it's still a bit much for it, but it's, it, it it's doable. It, whereas when I was trying to do it with a McCormick, it was just not, not really very feasible. Um, so yeah, based upon that, uh, cause the horsepower requirement on this thing's going to be what it, yeah, it's 500. Yeah. That isn't going to work. Okay. never mind. We're not going to do that. I think this is a, what was this? That's a forage harvester. Okay. We got a little Volta tractor here, which we don't need. Um, we've got a subsoiler. <sighs> you know, if this was one of the modded ones that also creates fields, I'd probably grab that because we are going to need to do some more field creation, but it's not a field create sort. It's just a subsoiler. So we're going to pass on that. And then we've got a trailer that can handle arable crops as well as fertilizer. Convey all. And it holds 43,800 43, liters. You know, that's, um, that's kind of like that, look at that gorgeous trailer, man. That's kind of like that, um, that crone trailer that popped up a couple days ago, but I don't know. That's just, we, we, well, we can't afford it anyways. The only way we could afford this is by taking out more loans, which I don't want to do. I, it's, it's kind of killing me a little bit that we're <laughs> passing up these good deals, but if we don't have the money, we don't have the money. That's all there is to it. And I just... I'm not saying I'll never take a loan, but I would only do that if it made super good sense. And it does not make super good sense for us to take a loan to get that trailer as nice as it would be to have. Okay, so I guess we're done, ladies and gentlemen, for June the 3rd. We are good on our, our fertilizer. It's starting to get low, but not terribly low. So we, we can get by uh, for at least another month on that, I think, before we have to worry about it and yeah uh is our hay ready to harvest no it's still growing it should i think it'll be ready in july so yeah let's uh go to sleep and i'll see you guys on july 1st welcome back to july everybody and our hay is ready to harvest again fantastic you know it it we must not have to replow hay fields uh you know we have plowing turned on where we have to periodically replow the field uh, but I, I'm assuming that's probably just for arable crops because if we go into the map here and we go to uh, needs plowing, see that doesn't that doesn't apply to any of our fields. So, uh, which is another pretty significant benefit of having hay fields uh, because you don't have to replow them. Super cool. Okay, we're gonna have to do some stone removal. In fact. Looks like stone removal is a thing on just any, just about any field you would purchase in this game. Uh, field 71 is a hay field that I'm going to buy someday. That's the one we always do contracts on. Uh, but it's going to cost us 680 grand. Or not, yeah, 680 grand to buy that thing. And it, wow, it even includes this property over here. How interesting. Yeah, very cool. 
Uh, this area here, this is just meadowland. It doesn't even have a field on it at all, but it includes this field as well. And that's just, like, like I said, meadow grass. So we, we could buy that at some point and turn that whole thing into an actual hay field so we get better yield. And plus have this field on top of that. So lots of cool stuff for us to, to purchase in the future. Okay, so uh, we're in July. We have hay to harvest now. Uh, let's take a look at our... Our greenhouses so liquid the fertilizer is, is low but yeah we'll be fine through july we'll probably have to replenish that in august i'm thinking uh, so we have hay to harvest and uh, we could whoops i didn't mean to do that um i believe we can harvest our canola now if we wanted to let's look at that canola yeah so we if we want to harvest our canola now we can the benefit of doing that is then we can convert that field to hay and get the fall cutting out of it. If we wait till the end of August, uh, we, you know, we would still probably get a November, it's either October or November cutting out of that, I think, if we waited till the end of August. But, we're gonna. We're, I'm sure we're gonna make a lot more money off of the hay than we are off of the canola. So maybe we're gonna. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll get the canola harvested now. But as always, <clears throat> at least for now, you know, at some point our farm's gonna become big enough to where we're only gonna have time to deal with our own farm and not contracts. But we're not there yet. Uh, so oh, look at this. Okay, it's baling season, guys, and another harvesting contract too. So, we want to, um, we're going to just accept all of these without using their equipment because you know 71 is going to come up too, and that's the one that's going to give us the good stuff to use. This is an oat harvesting. Boy, do we want to do that? Um, the reason is because is I can't use the oats for the chickens, and we just we get a very tiny bonus for it doing that I don't know if that's worth my time to be quite honest with you uh, let's look at field 63 where that's going to be down here 63 where is 63 it's right here plus it's got stones on it so that's going to cause damage to our harvester or more damage to it I'm going to excuse me. I'm going to hold off on that. If if this was a harvesting contract that had wheat, uh barley or or sorghum, I would definitely do it because then we can feed our chickens with it. Uh I'm not going to say I'm not going to do this, but I'm going to hold off on it for now. Okay, now let's refresh the contracts. And uh we got a couple cultivating. We'll always do those. All right. And then two more baling and another cultivating and there's 71 there nice and it's going to give us the jcb tractor which is my fave uh, okay so this is hay unfortunately not silage which kind of sucks but it is what it is uh, but it is going to give us uh the uh pottinger mower that i really like that does the windrowing so we are going to borrow these items and there we go. So now we got all that stuff to do the rest of the hay contracts. So let's do this cultivating, this cultivating. More cultivating. I'm going to definitely be using workers for that. Okay, here is... Okay, here's a wheat one, and it's a big one, too. Oh, this is great, you guys. We're going to get a nice little chunk of wheat out of this. I'll bet you we'll be able to fill the silo of the chickens with this, plus $12,000 to boot. However... Um, I think I'm going to borrow their equipment. We're going to lose 2500 bucks off the deal, but be, eh, should we do that, though? Let's look at Field 70. I think Field 70 is pretty darn big. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. Um, so the question becomes this. If I don't borrow their stuff, I'm going to have to lease a trailer, and they're providing two trailers. There's going to be wear and tear on our equipment on a field with a bunch of stones on it. And by the 
by the time that's all said and done, especially since we're going to have to lease a trailer and then, you know, have more repairs, that's potentially going to cost us almost this much. So I think we're going to borrow their stuff. I think we're going to borrow their stuff. The, the You know what, though? Um, we may not have enough room for all that to spawn in the yard unless we move all of this. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move all of this equipment out to field 71 to get it out of the way. And then we will accept that big harvest quest. I'm excited about that, man, because that I, I'll bet you guys that's going to fill up our, our, our chicken silo completely with wheat when it's all said and done. Plus, we'll make, you know, some pretty decent money off of it, too. And my favorite tractor in the game, the JCB. Okay, so let me get this stuff moved out to 71, and then I'll bring you guys back at that point, and we'll accept that big harvesting contract. And, yeah, we're going to we're gonna make some money off these contracts. So this is going to be a good month, you guys. We've got a bunch of contracts to do, make lots of money. Then we're going to be able to do our hay, and then we're going to be able to do our canola, and then turn that field into a new hay field. So we've got a lot of stuff going on this month. And that's all going to translate into mucho dinero for us. All right, I'll see you back here in just a little bit after I get the stuff moved. All right, guys. Um, I did my uh, classic boo-boo <laughs> where I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Uh, so basically what happened was is I borrowed the equipment for the that big harvesting contract. I think I showed that to you in the last uh, segment there. Uh, but it's this one here on 70. Okay, so we took that. Um, but I didn't have enough room in my yard to fit all of the equipment. So the harvester and the header spawned in. So I had to reposition the spawn point for the store. And apparently the key combination to do that is also what stopped my recording. So that's why um, I lost it. So let's see, what did we do? We, we spawned that in, uh, then I spawned in a header trailer and paid myself back for it because we were supposed to get all of that, you know, just from borrowing the equipment. I hauled the harvester out to the field and got a worker started on harvesting. It looks like the worker's full and waiting for us to get out there to, to load. Okay, so that's where we are with that. Then I spawned in these two trailers because it was supposed to come with a couple of Rudolph trailers. And now uh, we're, we're going to spawn in the tractor that we, we were supposed to have. I don't remember exactly what that tractor was, but I believe it was a Fint, and it was obviously going to be a large tractor. It was, so it was, it was a Fint Vario. I, I do know that because I just know what they look like. But I have no idea what model they were going to give us. Um, so because we don't know for sure, we're just going to take the 1,000 Vario. We're going to lease it and then here again, pay ourselves back. Uh, so we're going to pay ourselves back $16,779. $16,779. Okay, so we got that money back and we're back to uh, where we started from. And this is all the equipment in, that we were supposed to get from borrowing that. But here again, we just didn't have enough room. Okay, so now what we're going to do is hop into this and load up these trailers and go out there and start hauling grain. Okay. So let's see. I got to think about what the next move is. We, we got a harvester out in the field just sitting there waiting for us, and the worker's charging us money. So, yeah, we let's get that going. I'm going to help them load the grain, but I'm going to have the worker do the, the deliveries, at least the initial deliveries. But when we get towards the end, I need to handle that, so that way we can grab the grain for our own use. You know, we might have more wheat than we can hold in our chicken silo, in which case we're going to have to figure out what to do about that. I'd like to store it so I can continue using it to feed the chickens. We might need to start thinking about a silo, you guys. Um, I mean, we always have the option of the train station, I guess. 
That's another rental fee, but it's not super expensive. Yeah, so I parked the header trailer there, as you can see, to offload it. Oh, it looks like our worker missed a little spot there. We'll probably have to do a little cleanup after them. That's not abnormal. But we will get the, the hay going, too. I just don't want workers having downtime and charging me as much as, as we can avoid it, of course. Look at that big old hopper full of wheat. Isn't that gorgeous? Golden wheat. All right, there we go. Start filling us up. Best thing about this is it's gonna feed our chickens. Well, we're gonna make, you know, we're gonna make what, 11 grand off of it too, and that doesn't suck. Plus we get to work with one of the awesome, most awesomest combines in the game. Awesomest, is that a, a word, awesomest? Well, it is today. It's a word today. Okay. That's it. All right, you know what then? Um, we're gonna just leave this tractor parked here. And we'll come back when that worker's ready for us. Okay, let's head back to the ranch. And uh, we want to get in the JCB. Get the windrower out to the field. And then we can get the another AI worker started on a mowing. I still haven't gone through all of the available contracts either. So we got to do that. Lots of stuff to do all at once, man. I'm not known for my multitasking skills, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, let's start on this corner out here. That's where I usually like to start. And I'll do, as usual, I'll do the first, uh, the first go around before I turn it over to the worker. Because they won't, they won't get the extra grass on the, on the border. Let's get uh, this unfolded. So I think we'll just kind of, we don't want to get too far over though either, because then we have trouble pulling the hay in. Of course, we do have the windrower for that, so maybe we'll start right here. Let's get you down to about here, and then we'll drop down the big boys. Okay, let's get the mowing. Oh, 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 I forgot to put it to windrow mode. Maybe I won't. Let's not do windrow mode. There's no point, because we got to do the tedding anyways. So we'll just keep it in. open mode okay let's go besides I, I think when we do windrow it I think it might confuse the AI a little bit when they are trying to Ted I'm not positive about that but I wouldn't be surprised put it that way Okay, it looks like our other worker is almost full again in the combine, so we're going to have to jump over there. When I buy this property, man, we're going to take all of these trees out along the peripheral and extend this field. Can you imagine how much more that's going to add to the profitability of this place? If I was the owner of this field, I sure would, I would have done that by now, but, you know... We'll, we'll fix it when it is ours.
Okay, so let's stop here. Shut you down and go to here. Now, we really shouldn't drive on the crop. I mean, we can because we it's not our field. It isn't going to hurt it, but... Yeah, let's let's do this right. So what I'm going to do is park you here. Shut the engine off. Kick this worker out. pipe on this thing is just super long. It has to be, though, with the length of the header. All right. So, yeah, there's nothing else that we can put in the front trailer. This is a big wheat field, man. We're going to come away with a pretty big chunk of wheat at the end of this for our chickens. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, like I said, we just have to figure out where we're going to store the excess, which probably means the train station. It's probably our best bet for now. The silos are not cheap. Uh, okay, you're still 9% full, but that's okay. We can, ge we can keep you going. Okay, if I just start the worker here, are they smart enough to get everything going without my help? Looks like it. All right, there they go. So where are we taking this? Let's take a look. I can tell you guys right now that July 1st is going to be multiple episodes. <laughs> we got so much work to do. Uh, but it's fun, man. It is so fun. Okay, this, oh good, this is going to Green South. Isn't that right there? I think that's right there. Fantastic. Uh, yep. Wow. We couldn't have asked for a better deal than that, eh? Fantastic. Okay. I already said fantastic. You can only say fantastic once in, you know, every five minutes. Because if you keep saying fantastic uh, more frequently than every five minutes, it's not no longer fantastic. Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> My goodness, man. This tractor, this is a large massively horsepower tractor and it can barely pull this uh it's almost like it's in a low gear but this this is a variable transmission if i don't think i can manually shift it or can i nope well i'm glad we got this guy goodness gracious this is heavy but you'd think with a 500 horsepower tractor right So, yeah, we can do, we can do a rear dump. No reason not to. Get a little bit of grain on the tongue of the other trailer, but not a big deal. Beauty, eh? We're twelve percent done. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna have to switch to the rear trailer. And... What do you mean wheat is not accepted here? Do I have to pull forward a little more? All right, what, what kind of shenanigans are happening? Does it not register that rear trailer? Oh, you know what I think the problem is, you guys? This is the problem. <laughs> that 
that's the problem. Okay. Goodness gracious sakes alive. Okay, if we pull forward a little bit, do we get the prompt? All right, do we have to manually do it then? There we go. Okay, I just didn't have the lines hooked up. It's not the first time that's happened, and I guarantee you it won't be the last time. <laughs> oh, it can't take me anywhere. All right. We're back in business. Here I'm blaming the game, saying the game's confused, and we all know who was really confused, right? Funny, funny. You know, that might have also had something to do with why we were going so slow, too, because I've noticed that if you don't hook the lines up, your vehicle drives a lot slower. That's maybe the game's way of telling you, hey, you don't have the lines hooked up. So I'll have to keep that in mind. So we should be able to get... Um, well, I don't know if I want to hire a worker to offload since everything's so close. But yeah, let's just handle it ourselves and save ourselves some money. Um, but I want to prioritize this field before the hay field in terms of, you know, what we are paying the workers. Yeah, we'll just handle delivering this ourselves because we're going to, you know, I'm going to hire the workers to do all the cultivating, which, we, you know, that's another thing I need to get started on as soon as I have a moment to do so. So we don't want to overuse them. That's it. Okay, so we're going to leave the tractor here. All right. Go at it, worker. Okay, let's get back to our mowing so we can finish this and then get the worker going on on this task. Okay, so we, we need to come up with a name for her, too. If you ask me, she looks like the girl in the in the opening, you know, movie of the game, and her name is Sophie, and the only reason I know that is because she sends a text to her dad towards the end of that movie uh, when they're snow plowing, and, you know, her name is Sophie on the text. So I think we just call her Sophie. So that's Sophie, but you guys can come up with a name for... Uh, for the other one. Hey, Sophie, what are you doing? You're... <laughs> Sophie, you're not u using the maximum width of the mowers. All right, whatever. We'll let her go to it. Uh, all right, now, the next maneuver for us is... 70 is 40% complete. Okay, let's get our new Holland out, and we're going to... Get a worker started on our biggest cultivating contract. In fact, speaking of which, let's um, let's make sure we have all the rest of the contracts that we want to take. So here's a cultivating. Here's one. Here's one. Those are all pretty decent payout ones too. That one's a little one. Okay, I think that's it. Again, I'm holding off on this oat. What? Well, you know what we could do now that we have the other equipment? We could just go bang this out really quick. Uh, we'd have to take it all the way north, though. But all it's going to cost us is a little time, and we get a 1000 bucks. Yeah, what the heck? Let's do it. And we're just going to accept this. We're not going to borrow any equipment. Super. Okay. What is our largest cultivating field? So there's one for 66 there. And I think that's the biggest one. Okay, so that's on field 39. And that's going to be... Where's that going to be? You know what? Let's take it off of this. That's a, ni a lot nicer view. 39 is... Where is 39? There's 34, 30. Oh, it's this big purple field here. Okay, well, that's going to be an easy one, though, for the AI to do, and it's just right next door to us. 
So let's get them started and then we'll go check and see how our grain... Uh, yeah, they're 80%, so they're almost ready for us again. Man, when you start using this many workers and have this many jobs going, you truly do become a farm manager at that point. Okay. Um, actually, here, I want to go this way. Oops, straighten up. Straighten up and drive right. So yeah, it'll it'll go up to seven miles an hour, which isn't bad. I mean, it's a little slow, but it works. Gets the job done. All right, go to it, worker. Make us some money. All right, back to the field, the wheat field. Here we go. And kick the worker out. I won't have to kick the worker out when the pipe's on the other side of the crop, but when it's on this side, since we're being realistic and not driving over the crop, even though we can, we have to do it this way. Okay, let's fill this up and go dump it off. So yeah, what we'll do with the excess grain is we'll go fill up the, the chicken silo and then anything that's left over, I'm probably just gonna go dump in the train station for now. So I don't even have a trailer to store it in at this point. We sold our other trailer. Someday we'll have our own multi-fruit silo. Um, and you know, then it's a moot point, but we're not there yet. We are not there yet. I, yeah, I'm definitely going to have some headland work to do when the, when the main field's done. Well, not a whole lot. They, they, they've they left a couple patches there, but they're not doing too bad, actually. I had to press the unload button in order to get the 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 prompt for the i key to actually come up maybe it's i'm telling the game which trailer i'm actually trying to unload since the other one's kind of over the grate too even though the back end of it's not but that would be my guess okay so now we'll switch to the back trailer pull forward see the prompt came up there but that's maybe that's because we were switched to it i don't know it's a little wonky, but we, we'll figure it out. Okay, we're 51% on field 70. All right, I think, I think we're all caught up. We're just really pretty much waiting on the mowing. Oh, now, now they're using the pr proper swath. Okay, good. So Sophie corrected herself, so she's doing good. So yeah, I guess we just wait for this guy until he's ready, uh, guy or gal. Is this a gal? Yeah, this is a gal. We're gonna have to give her a name too. So she always has that kind of light blue tank top, some sweatpants, and some shades on. She's got dark brown hair in a bun. So you guys need to give her a name as well as uh, the, first, the first female worker. She's at 69%. Um, all right, is there anything else I can be doing while we're waiting for... Oh, look at this. Look at this, you guys. They actually put this stuff at the shop when it couldn't fit it at our place. I had no idea they would do that. Well, that's interesting, okay. Well, aside from the tra uh, the pickup trailer and the baler, the rest of this is just going to stay here because we already re-leased it. But that's good to know for next time. So anything that doesn't fit on the property pops over here. Okay. Uh, however, that being said, uh, we can get that baler and the trailer out to the field. So why don't we work on that? I'm just going to use this tractor for that particular job. 
Um, I guess we're going to have to get these trailers out of the way. Okay, we have a full tank on the combined. So we'll come back here later. Oh, that's where I wanted to be. Now i got to cycle all the way back through. Uh, this is actually where we want to be. Oh, we can pull up to the pipe. Okay. Okay, looks like the combine's empty. So we'll shut this tractor off, go back to here. Yep, go back to here. I think there is a, a keyboard command that lets you go the other direction when you're teleporting between tractors. I'll have to look that up. I don't I don't have it currently mapped though. Okay, so we're gonna bring the baler and the bale trailer out to field 71. And then I'm gonna park this tractor and not use it anymore because, whoops. Because technically we, you know, we got that other one, so we shouldn't be using this one, but it's just too, too handy right here. We're going to just park this tractor here and not use it for the rest of the, the time here. And we need to hop out here because we have the combines full again. And the pipe's on the right side. Good deal. Yeah, there's a, a few little tufts that are missed on the very edge there that we'll, we'll grab at the end here. Seventy-seven percent transported. Okay, let's go check on everybody else and see how we're doing. You are getting there. Nice. You are getting there. Okay. Um, I don't really think there's anything else for us to do at the moment. So we're just going to hang out and keep mining the combine <clears throat> and go from there.